climbing for about 22 12 no 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 whoa 25 years he's climbed longer than i'm alive <laughs> <Are you kidding? laughs>Hi, I'm Albert Oak with Gym Climber and Rock and Ice Magazine. I'm here in Loveland, Colorado at the CWA Climbing Wall Association Conference in 2019. I'm here with Kenny Sa with Mad Rock, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the shoe. But first, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Tell us something about yourself. Kenny from Mad Rock Climbing. Uh, I've uh, been the general sales manager and marketing manager for uh, eight years now. Been with the company for... Uh, 11 years so yeah, far, so wow. it's been a while. Yeah, yeah so he knows all the ins and outs. There you go, yeah. yeah. So we actually uh, are looking at some of his new product that is coming out soon, or is it already out? Uh, no, uh, we're going to officially launch this at Outdoor Retailer next month uh, in June, uh, but this is our Phoenix. It's making its way back. We first launched with the shoe back uh, in 2001. We had two versions of the shoe, but now uh, there was a little bit of a gap, and now it's back. Uh, it's going to be $79 retail, uh, same uh, characteristics as the Phoenix in the past, uh, flat, uh, very comfortable, wide toe box, lace system, leather construction. So, yeah, very comfortable, very capable shoe for uh, how comfortable it is. Wow, That's so good. what sort of audience are you targeting with this? Because I, I know, like, maybe the drone, you're looking for a comp style or, yeah. like, hard bouldering. What kind of audience does you think this shoe fits? Yeah, definitely people looking for something that's comfortable for like long days, mm -hmm. a lot of mileage, yeah. a lot of volume, uh, definitely like people who are doing roots, top roping, mm -hmm. or like, uh, you know, not so overhanging, but maybe like slightly vertical to vertical yeah. type of uh, terrain. Um, so yeah, it'll fit that bill, very comfortable all day shoe, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely been seeing a lot of shoe companies making like a comfortable shoe, yeah. and it's really cool that Mad Rock is doing that because there's definitely a market for that, and definitely. I like it. Yeah. yeah. And then going with a new colorway, yeah. kind of a new design. What inspired yeah. this like color design? Uh, you know, the sneakers out there, uh, yeah. yeah, have certain accents that we, we took cues like from. looks like a classic sneaker as well. Exactly. It looks really cool. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. So that's why we did it. Uh, the brown and mustard yellow, kind of retro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks cool. Hopefully it sells. Yeah. So uh, some unrelated questions. Okay. Yeah, you want to talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, what is your favorite climb that you've climbed outdoors? Favorite climb? Oh, this is hard. There's probably climb. too many. There's too many. Uh, I, I'm just blanking. I, I've been climbing for about 22, 12, no, 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 no. Whoa. 25 years. He's climbed longer than I'm alive. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> so I've climbed a lot of places. There's a lot of favorites. Uh, I don't think I could just pick one. Uh, definitely, uh, I mean, places I've climbed like Font would oh, probably wow. be like my Beautiful. favorite place. Yeah. There's a bunch of classic problems there. Yosemite being another one. Mm -hmm. Me being from California. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I could pick one. That's just that's too hard. <laughs> it's like picking one food. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You can't do speaking, it. Speaking speaking of food, uh, you're from LA, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what's your favorite restaurant there? Oh, man, that's another oh. <laughs> But I do like Korean food. I'm okay. Korean. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah I'm going to say, oh. Yeah, I'm going to say, So, like, uh, Korean barbecue or the home style, like, Korean food. Yeah. Like, stuff that's not, like, so, like, Korean barbecue is popular, right? Yeah. It's, like, everyone loves it. But Korean food is more diverse than that. And Koreatown in L.A. has the biggest population of Koreans outside of Korea. Yeah. So the food is awesome. Do you like Roy Choi's food? Uh, no comment. No comment. Ooh. <laughs> It's okay. I, I haven't had it actually personally, okay. so I don't know. It's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of uh, David Chang? David Chang? I love it. Yeah. Have you yeah. been to his noodle bar? No, uh, uh, I have in you Vegas. Have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, the pork buns I highly recommend. Oh. And the uh, pork stew. Yeah. It's good. So uh, <laughs> this has been a very interesting interview here at CWA with Kenny Sa. Love your attitude. Okay. Kenny, Thank great you. to meet you. All right. Thank awesome. you for having me. Thanks. <laughs> We had a great time at the Climbing Wall Association conference in Loveland, Colorado. Of course, I picked the coldest, wettest day to do the outro. This is who's behind the camera the whole time. It's Delaney Miller. And if you like this content and you want to see more of it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And also subscribe to Rock and Ice magazine and look for Gym Climber in your local gym. Thank you.